Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me once again. Today we're gonna do a nice, clean, golden look. As always, I always start off by wiping her face down with a makeup wipe so I could take all the excess makeup that she might have left. Doing eyebrows is where I start. So I start in the front of the eyebrow, in the innermost corner of the nose. So I do strokes up and down, and then I just fill in the rest of the eyebrow. Now I'm using concealer to shape her eyebrows. Every eyebrow is different, so with concealer, I get to give her the look that I'm going for. Also, I could have sharp lines by using the concealer, any stray hairs I could cover, and like they say, the eyebrows are the frame of the face. I prefer using an eyeshadow base versus concealer to for this part because I want my eyeshadow to stay the longest and to pop the most. I start my eyeshadow from the outer parts of the eye and I work my way in. I'm using a brown and orange mix as my transitional color. And then I start blending. I used Volcano Goddess from Belka, and that's what I'm doing with her gold color. And I'm using it with the, my finger because this particular eyeshadow, um, I can't use a brush to do it. It doesn't come on the eye. So then I go around the bottom rim of the eye, bringing down that brown and orange mix, just to give it like a little transitional color. And when I put the eyeliner on, it just blends beautifully. As you could see, sometimes eyeshadow falls everywhere. So I do um, a little bit of Pond's cold cream with a wipe to take away the excess eyeshadow that has fallen. Everybody has a different preference in lashes. I use wispy lashes, sometimes I double them, sometimes I triple them, just depending on the look that I'm going for and how the client feels. So we apply lashes. As, as you can see here, one lash was not enough. So I went and I got a little longer wispier lashes and that I think it has a better look for her eye shape. Now with a black opal and heavenly honey, I apply the foundation. With the color chocolate from black opal is what I'm using as her contour color. And I just blend everything out and gives me that perfect skin tone that I'm looking for for her. I'm using the concealer Too Faced, born this way in the color Warm Beige. Um, you have to work a little fast with this one because it does dry pretty quick. And if not, then you're gonna get a lot of streaks. You don't want that. So you just put it in, blend it out, and keep it going. With the black opal in the color chocolate again, I'm just sculpting her face a little bit more because I didn't want it to be flat. Now it's time to set the face. I'm using a Too Faced Peach Perfect to set under her eyes, under her cheekbones, on her forehead. After that, I grabbed the uh, MAC Mineralize and Min Medium, and I just set what I've already previously done with her contour. I dust off the setting powder so we don't have those flashbacks or sometimes people forget and they have this white rim around their eyes, which I think is crazy. I found this super inexpensive blush from e.l.f. in the color dark and I mix all of the colors together and I apply it in the apples of the cheeks. Everybody's favorite part is coming up which is highlight. I use the highlighter on the 
cheekbone, on the tip of the nose, and on the tip of the top of your lip. Just to give you that golden goddess look. Now the finishing touch. It's lipstick. I'm using MAC and a matte and it's called Really Me and it gives it that complete look. It's not going to overpower the face. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.